was rereading the intro to your book, Sacred Economics, last night, and one of the points that you you bring up is uh, what is the core of being human? And you say you kind of add your own little flavor to it and say our purpose in life. What is the human purpose in life? And I'd be curious to have to hear a little, you know, potted explanation of what you think the human purpose is, and maybe if you could extrapolate that down into what is Charles' purpose. Uh, yeah, sure. Start with a small question here. <laughs> um, I think everybody also has the answer to that question on a general level, which is that we're here to serve life and beauty on Earth, mm. just like every other species. Uh, is here to do every mm -hmm. every species that comes into the to the planet, whether it's the first multicellular organism or flowering plants or whatever it is, it increases biodiversity on Earth mm -hmm. and adds something new to the mix that wasn't there before. So human beings are the same, and as individuals, as long as we're contributing in some way to life and beauty, then we're going to feel that we're fulfilling our purpose. We're gonna feel, yeah, I'm here doing something meaningful. I'm doing what I came here to do. And if you're not doing that, or if you've reached like a, a glass ceiling and, and you have that feeling, I could be doing something more. I'm kind of in a rut here. I'm, I'm making enough money. I'm surviving just fine, but I'm not really expressing my capacity. Mm -hmm. to make the world more beautiful and alive, then you're going to feel like, you know, dissatisfied. Have you been in that point before in your life? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, in my 20s, I was a translator in Taiwan, which was mm -hmm. uh, challenging and lucrative. And, and mm -hmm. you know, I was had prestigious clients, you know, and I was well regarded, but, but I didn't actually care about most of the things that I was doing. Mm. I didn't care about this, you know, annual report for some insurance company or some marketing materials. Like I didn't care about it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, do I ever get to do something in life that I care about for real? Not mm. that I'm paid to care about it, mm -hmm. but I actually care about it. Like, do I get to live my life instead of the life I'm paid to live? Mm -hmm. And and that once I had that realization, then, you know, I couldn't keep doing what I was doing. Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I would like to say that as soon as I had that realization, I totally changed my life, but that's not what happened. Mm. It was this growing discontent that I just couldn't put my full energy into what I was doing, but mm -hmm. I was still stuck in it. I was kind of addicted to the money and addicted to the routine. And here's mm -hmm. this client. Can you do this next thing for us? And let me raise my rates, but now I'm getting even more business. So like, it was hard to get out actually until I just moved. Like I just pretty much at some point I had to leave that entire environment. Mm -hmm. And that's when I moved back to the United States and then spent years trying to figure out what I did care about. Mm. Cause I, I was out of touch with, with that. How did you, and, how did you figure it out? Um, by trying some things that I didn't care about. Mm. And like what? And, oh, like I trained as a yoga teacher. Okay. Um, you know, I was okay. You know, I yeah. toyed with the idea of going to grad school, took a couple classes, you know, but, mm -hmm. but it's, it's really about um, learning to trust trust my feelings, mm. the feeling of, of enthusiasm mm -hmm. or, or like, say I start to procrastinate and I become lazy. Is that a character flaw that I have to overcome to be productive? Mm. Or is that a message from my soul saying the reason you don't care about this is because you're supposed to be caring about something else. Mm. Does that I still happen to you at all? Yeah. Yeah, because it's not like, oh, okay, I found what I'm going to do for the rest of my life and I never, ever have to listen to my feelings again. Mm. Yeah, right now, I'm kind of in this transition zone too where um, the kinds of books and essays I've been writing, they just don't juice me as much. Mm. Sometimes they do, you know, I go through a spurt where I'm uh, excited to, to write another essay, but 
a lot of times it feels kind of dutiful. And so then if I can pull back from the routine and the rush, the, the crush, uh, and, and take some time to myself, like one thing that's coming to me is, wow, I have this amazing idea for a screenplay. Mm. And, and like that feels exciting in a way that I haven't felt for years. Interesting. But to actually step into that, you know, it, it requires disengaging from a lot of things that have a pretty strong grip. Mm. And a whole new skill set. But I mean, yeah. sometimes.